Introducing Flex, flexible logistics and exploration vehicle, a next-generation lunar rover manufactured by a Southern California startup, Venturi Astrolab. The really you know, interesting thing is that enables lots of activities you know, to, to be conducted in the absence of astronauts. And um, so it's important to have platforms that can do things like construction, infrastructure deployment, conduct science, exploration, uh, you know, even before the astronauts arrive. The company released visuals of a full-scale working prototype of Flex Rover, riding over the rugged California desert near Death Valley National Park during a five-day field test in December. If adopted by NASA, the Flex Rover would become the first passenger-capable rover to ply the lunar surface since Apollo 17, the last of six original U.S. manned missions to the moon in 1972 and it would be used in NASA's Artemis program aimed at returning humans to the moon as early as 2025. NASA is interested in having a sustained human presence ultimately on the moon, so it's important to have a, uh, assets and equipment that can last a long time. Uh, so Flex, Flex has a, a, a battery uh, and solar power system, so it, it collects solar energy to recharge its batteries and there's sufficient battery uh, capacity to, to survive the lunar night at the South Pole, uh, which can be as, as much as uh, somewhere between 100 and 300 hours. Flex Rover is one of many initiatives and design concepts pursued by aerospace companies, and industry experts predict many more startup companies will soon be competing for a larger share of the space exploration economy. I, I think it establishes the backdrop against which technical initiatives of this nature must continue. And uh, it behooves us as technologically uh, competent societies, groups around the world, to bite off as big a piece of this as we can possibly chew. Because this is the economic engine for, say, a country like Canada for the next three to 500 years. Any progress achieved by technologies like Flex Rover in establishing a permanent lunar colony will be seen as getting one step closer to sending astronauts to Mars. It is Tian Shan, CGTN, Los Angeles.